Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to another episode on Mathematics.com. It is a presenter, Jeff Naino, and today I will be teaching on how to solve certain problems on standard deviation. Now, as we all know, standard deviation is the square root of variance. So, when you are given sets of data which can be grouped or ungrouped, how do you go about it? Well, in today's episode, we shall be looking at ungrouped data and how we can solve for their standard deviation. Now, like I said, standard deviation is the square root of variance. So it means for us to be able to solve for standard deviation, first, we need to calculate for variance. Then when we look for the square root of variance, then we have got to the standard deviation. Now, variance on its own has its own formula. Variance is sigma into the bracket of x minus mean raised to the power of 2 over n. Now, this formula is used for variance when the question does not involve frequency. So it means if you take a look carefully at the formula for variance, you will see we have the words, the mean, the arithmetic mean in it. But in the question, the mean was not given. So it means we, are, we also need to solve for the mean for us to be able to solve for the variance. Because x here represents the set of data that is given. And n here represents how many data are given. Now I can best explain this math using a table. So that's what was easier for you to understand. Now let us use a table. This is our x, okay, and this is our x minus mean, and this is our x minus mean raised to the power of 2. Okay, now let us compute this into the what? Into the table. Now, our x, I told you, represents a set of data given, which is 3, 5, 7, and 9. Now, for us to be able to get this column, I need to first of all solve for me because it means x minus me. And so how can I solve for me? Now the formula for solving mean when there is no frequency is mean is equal to sigma x over n. Now what does sigma mean? Sigma means summation. Okay. Now when this is sigma x, it means add x. Now this is equal log for x. Now if we should add x, 3 plus 5 gives us 8. 8 plus 7 gives us 15. And 15 plus 9 gives us 24. So I have 24 over. I told you n means how many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4. They are 4. So it means our mean is equal to 6. Okay, so our mean is 6. Again, I explained how did I get 24 by adding all the numbers here, and then how did I get n? How many numbers are they? And then how did I get 6 24 divided by 4 gave us 6? So what do we do next? Now that we know what mean stands for, it means I can now solve for the next column. The next column says x minus mean. x, this is my x column. So it means 3 minus mean, which is 6. And 3 minus 6 gives us minus 3. 5 minus 6 gives us minus 1. 7 minus 6 gives us 1. And 9 minus 6 gives us 3. Okay, now don't forget, this is not the formula we are using. This is the formula we are using because in our formula it has square. So I'm going to work with that now. Then the question is, how can I get the colon for this? It's simple. It simply means the answer we have here raised to the power of 2 or squared. So if I say minus 3 raised to the power of 2, it simply means minus 3 times minus 3. And that will give us a positive 9. So here becomes 9. Now negative 1 raised to the power of 2 will give us a positive 1. 1 raised to the power 2 will give us a positive 1, and 3 raised to the power 2 will give us also a positive 9. Now, when we come back to this formula, according to the formula, it says add. Sigma means add. So it means I will add all that I've got in our last column. So if I should do this, 9 plus 1 gives us 10, 10 plus 1 gives us 11, and 11 plus 9 gives us 20. So automatically, in this question, our variance becomes everything on top gives us 20 over my n. Don't forget our n is 4, but the numbers. So class, 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. Now, this is not our answer because that answer is for variance. The question says find the standard deviation. Therefore, our standard deviation becomes the square root of 5. According to the formula, the square root of variance and variance is 5. Are you there with me? So this is how you can solve problems. On standard deviation involving what? On group data. In our next video, we shall be looking at how we can also solve for standard deviation for group 
data. So if you know this is your first time on joining us, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to share our videos. Till we meet again in our next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.